Hey everyone, my name is Jordan and I live in Vancouver, BC. Last year I did my first longer distance cycling trips and looking back they were the highlight of my summer. This year, and with the global pandemic keeping us more local than before, I am challenging myself to do even more cycling trips with an emphasis on bike camping. Today, we are headed to Gabriola Island. This was my first time on BC Ferry since COVID-19 and there were some things to get used to. First of all, if you did drive onto the ferry in a personal motor vehicle, they ask you to stay in your car unless you're using the facilities on top of the deck. Another thing to get used to are the restrictions on seating. Additionally, BC Ferries is requiring that you have a mask to wear on board the vessel if you can't maintain physical distance. Obviously, we did not drive, so after locking up our bikes, we headed up deck to see the views as the ferry departed Horseshoe Bay. It was a really nice day though, and the pleasant feeling of the sun and sea breeze on my face helped the journey pass by. Soon enough we were arriving at Nanaimo, where the ferry to Gabriola was only a 20 minute bike ride away. Alright, welcome to beautiful Gabriola Island. Um, this is a map, we are at the ferry terminal. Um, ferry goes from Nanaimo to here, um, and then we are camping just uh, Descanso Bay Regional Park, which is right there. See the little tent and everything. Um, where I went last summer was the Haven, which is like around here, um, and there's the galleries, the kind of sandstone uh, waved cliffs. Um, but yeah, besides that, there's a bit more, a bit of a bigger island to it. So uh, maybe we'll see. We'll do a day trip. Maybe there's like a it says Hogan Lake here. It'd be good to check out. Um, I don't know, we'll just kind of see, maybe we'll see where we're going, see where we'll end up, but for today we're ending up right there. We just got into the camp, Descanso Bay and Gabriola, so it's really a quick uh, cycle from the ferry. Um, the campsite's really quite nice. Um, we yeah, were able to bike right to our campsite. Um, we set up our tent and we are working on like an early dinner. I think it's maybe 5.45 right now. Um, sunset is not until like 9.30 basically, so we have lots of time, lots of daylight. All right, so we are doing a bit of a early dinner. Might have two dinners tonight. Um, we got this rice ramen, we got um, Dehydrated gluten chunks, which have like this, this bag. Uh, it was 69 grams of protein per 100 grams, so it's like basically all protein, which is pretty cool. And then in this old melatonin bottle, I have a uh, sriracha hoisin soy sauce. I'm gonna do that first night. Oh. Alright, I know this looks like a, a bottle of melatonin, but actually, if you open it up, it is full of sauce. Uh, so yeah, hoisin sauce, sriracha, soy sauce. We're gonna add it into our ramen here. It should be pretty good. All right, so we have a cup of ramen. 
wheat gluten chunks, some sauce in here, and the little foldy cup. My brother has a little small container using a spoon. Yeah, I think my next tip would be, or the next thing I do differently, just a bit more cutlery. Oh yeah, it's hot. Temperature. Also a bit of spice. All right, so we are, we had uh, some dinner and now we're gathering huckleberries around the campsite, foraging to make like a huckleberry jam for some toast. We'll like make it over the fire, so hopefully we can like not like take all the huckleberries, but we'll see. Uh, also, if you don't know what huckleberries look like, just that's what they look, look like. <laughs> this is a really big bush, they're really red. Oftentimes they'll be um, more of a pink color, but these look like super nice, they're, like super red, almost like a cranberry color red. Look at those. Oh, can have some nice jam for sure. Good huckleberries. Got one. Two. Got three. A lot more to go. So. Alright, so we got a bit of a huckleberry collection, so if we're gonna do a little huckleberry jam over the fire with some toast. Pretty good amount of huckleberries. They're like really small, so it took like way longer to get even this, but it should be good enough. So my brother gathered, what is this called? Old man's beard. Old man's beard. It's like a type of moss, lichen type thing, moss. That it's really good for starting fires, apparently. So it's cool. Like the future. Beard out, Nathaniel. It's doing a good job so far. Just starting our fire, first, first fire of the night. Uh, my brother did a great job, make a little I actually went off. gazebo thing. He did, he did a great job. No, 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 I think it's going to go he, off. He did great, even though it might, you know, it's a good job, good attempt. After like quite a while of tr troubleshooting the stove and almost like giving up, I gave it another go and it finally got whispering, so that's good. I'm not too sure if yeah, I thought it might have ran out, ran out of fuel entirely, but now it's going. We're making some oatmeal. The huckleberry jam last night did not really work out with the fire, so I just added the huckleberries into the oatmeal, which should be, should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I just started the day. Pretty sunny day today. It's going to get warmer but maybe later in the day, so I might go for a swim. Maybe more closer to sunset. Yeah, then maybe go for a bike ride around the island once we have some breakfast and stuff, so. And the oatmeal, this is instant oatmeal, so we really don't have to actually cook it that much. Uh, maybe actually, we can probably just like simmer from now or turn it off entirely. Ooh, nice, it looks great.
Okay, we were here on Sandwell Beach and going to go swimming. We've been hanging out for a little bit. A um, bit of a bike ride to get into it, some kind of dirt trails and stuff, but uh, we're here. A bit of a hill to go up after this, but yeah, I've been out in the sun, so I'm gonna go into the water and dry off, hopefully. Hopefully it works out okay. Just leaving the beach right now. Um, it's been an uphill um, push to the biking up. Now we're kind of going down to the roads, um, and then there's quite a bit of hill that we'll have to walk up with the bikes, probably, especially with my brother who doesn't have the e bike. So, well, maybe I'll give it to him for a little bit. We'll see. But yeah, probably see you back at the campsite. We'll do some dinner and stuff. All right, it's our last night here, and we're just making a bit of dinner um, some mushrooms and some rice noodles. Um, but yeah, so have the campsite behind me, just our two-person tent, me and my brother. Um, got the bike here and we have our little cooking thing going on in the background there. So yeah, we have some dehydrated mushrooms which were basically been kind of boiling for a little bit. A bit of sauce and we'll add some noodles once they're good to go. And yeah, it's a kind of weird sunset. It's like not for like another few hours. So there'll be probably some more sun for a little bit. Probably have like a later sleep and then wake up in the morning and take the ferry, go back home. All right, so we really just quickly uh, made some instant vegan mashed potatoes. Um, brought the soy milk that I had and a bit of oat milk that I bought on the ferry to boil, and then we just added the flakes. And the flakes I actually already added garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper to them because they are normally just unseasoned. So it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna get these flakes into something else, and so then we're gonna start cooking the main meal, which my brother will coordinate. It is our last, our last morning here in this Conso Bay Regional Park, Gabriel Island. Um, we're doing a bit of a breakfast. 
We got some tofu. We got some shiny seasoning. It's like a tofu scramble kind of thing. Makes it eggy tasting. Gonna, we have an ultimate taste tester here, so we're gonna see how it stands up to the egg, faux egg test. <laughs> see how this goes. All right, so we have like barely any oil. Olive oil. Four, five drops, probably. Just shaking this out. Shaking it off. This feels like, it's like every last drop. Is it gonna burn for one day, or two days, or three? Lighting our stove. This is where you'll see, I really have no idea what I'm doing because the stove might explode. Alright, so the secret ingredient for this tofu scramble is Shawnee's seasoning, which is uh, basically like um, makes tofu taste like eggs. I don't know what it has in it, probably some black salt and sulfury type stuff, but uh, it should be pretty good. Tofu's coming along really nicely. We added the seasoning, add a bit of water just to give it a bit more of a consistency, not as dry. I'm actually gonna sample it now. First sample, just make sure you know we're warm and good. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's great. Really into it. So I got two pieces of sourdough bread. Got our tofu scramble. And it's gonna go on the bread. If it can stay. Overall, my first bike camping trip of the summer was quite successful. The campsite we booked was nice, and despite the classic Gabriel water taste, was pretty enjoyable, with a nice number of small trails, sandstone shorelines, and pine trees that reached towards the sky. I'm truly thankful for what many of us have access to here in British Columbia, and thankful that we have, so far, been able to navigate these interesting times pretty successfully. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it entertaining, informative, or maybe it inspired you to do a similar bike camping or camping trip yourself. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more cycling, camping, and vegan food content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, remember to stay kind, stay calm, and stay safe. Thank you.